Okay, the, we're going to talk about sea and land bridge. Okay, in this case here, let's look at this case here. Okay, I think the first, when you talk about sea bridge and land bridge, there's a simple principle you must remember. The land heats up and cools down faster than the sea. Okay, so this is the one point that you must remember over here. Okay, now let's start. Okay, in the day, we will start from here. Okay, this is a starting point. In the day, the land gets heated up faster. So what happens is that the warm air above the land, okay, so this is the land here. The warm air above the land will get heated up, it will expand, becomes less dense, and less dense, and it will rise. So as it re reaches the top, the air will start to cool down, it will contract, become denser, and it will sink. This sets up the convection current. Sets up a convection current. Okay, as the cold wind blows towards the land from the sea, from the sea, okay, we term this as the sea breeze. Okay, so just take note, because it's blowing from the sea, that's why we call it sea breeze. So the starting point is that, it starts from the land, heated up faster, the warm air above it will expand, less dense and rise. The cold, the cooler air, when it reaches the top, the cooler air will contract, sink, contract, uh, denser, it will become, con it will contract, become denser, and it will sink. Then after that, this sets up the convection current. And as you can see here, the cold air blows from the sea to the land. So that's why we term this as the sea breeze. At night, it's no longer a sea breeze. It is a land breeze now. So, let's start from the sea now. Okay, let's start from the sea. So remember, as I was saying, the land cools down faster. So in this case here, where is the warmer region? The sea is now the warmer region. So at night, the air above the sea are warmer than the land. So the warm air, uh, the air above the water, it will expand, become less dense and rise. And when it reaches the top, the air will cool down, it will contract, it will become denser and it will sink. And you can see this sets up the convection current. So when the convection current is set up, we can see that cold air blows from the land to the sea. So we call it land breeze. So land breeze occurs at night. Land breeze occurs at night. Land breeze is at night. Sea breeze, okay, sea breeze, sorry, uh, let me try to get the, okay, sea breeze is in the day. Okay, so land breeze is at night, sea breeze is in the day. Next one, okay, sorry, let's, uh, too much there. Okay, convection current occurs also, um, convection current fluid is being applied to design in many applications also, like your appliances that you use at home. So what are some of the examples? First one is aircon. Obviously, do you see an aircon position like this, or do you normally see an aircon position at the top? Okay, so it's actually normally position at the top, you don't see aircon position at the bottom. Why? Because what happens is that the aircon blows out cold air. So the cold air that comes from the aircon is actually denser and it will sink downwards. Okay, because it blows out cold air, so the cold air is denser, it will sink downwards. Then the warmer air at the bottom, because it is less dense, it will rise and take the place of the cold air. And obviously this sets up a convection current. And so, cold air will always come down in the and then the person sitting around will always feel the cold air and the hot air which is being heated up by the person or whatever instruments or whatever appliances that's on okay it will warm up and it will come back up so the air blowing out cold air the warm air will go up it will form the um, convection current next one is the same for your refrigerator Okay, freezer at the bottom, freezer at the top, which is actually better. In actual fact, we tend to put the freezer at the top. 
Why is it so? Same thing. The cold air is denser. Okay? So it will sink downwards. So cold air come from the freezer on top is denser. It will sink downwards. Cooling the content in the refrigerator. Then what happens is that the warmer air at the bottom, the warmer air at the bottom is less dense, so it will rise upwards. Okay? So when the warm air rises up, it will be cooled down by the air conditioner, and the cycle repeats, so it will continue. Okay? This cycle here is what we call the convection current. So always take note, whenever you are describing convection, you must always talk about the convection current. Okay? Next one, you can think of the heating element here. In this case here, you can see the heating element is here. We tend to place it at the bottom. Why is it at the bottom? Because water at the bottom, okay, is the one then heated up first. It will expand, become less dense, and it will rise up. Okay? Then water on top is cooler. It will sink downwards. Okay, because it's cooler, it is uh, more dense, it will sink, so it's like it come down. So this sets up a convection current. Can you imagine, can you imagine if I got a container here and my heating element is placed here? This is my heating element. What's going to happen is that it heats up, the water will go up, okay, the cooler one will come down. But the water here, but the region here doesn't get affected by the heater. Because convection only occurs at the top because of the way how hot uh, the hot water will rise and the cold water will sink. So do be careful, okay? That's why your heating element is normally placed at the bottom. But if you've got a cooling element, okay, like your freezer and stuff, you normally place it at the top. So this is how it functions. So next one you can see here, okay, your freezer in supermarket. Why is it not necessary to put a cover? Because why? The cold air from the freezer is denser. So the cold air blows from the top. It will stay at the bottom. Okay, only the warmer air will come out of the freezer. So it will stay at the it will stay below the warmer air. Because the warmer air is less dense, the colder air is denser. So this will help to maintain the products from being chilled all the time. It will so it will help the products to be chilled all the time, not prevent, sorry. Alright, so this is in terms of convection. And the last one, we got a hot water system here. Okay, just read through the little, little instructions. I will not go through too much. You can take a pause here and read through them. Okay, the diagram looks a bit complicated, but no worries about it. The same thing is just about the hot water is less dense, it will rise. The colder water is denser, it will sink and it will set up a convection current to help the flow. Okay, so just remember this and this is marks the end of your convection.